Hi guys, Melissa Johnson, Independent Sensi Consultant, back with you again today with um, my empties video and all of the bring back my bars. Um, so I finally made them through, made it through them. So um, the first one is banana nut bread. Um, that one I did down here um, and it's so good to me. I know when people smell this, initially they get more of the artificial banana, which I love, <laughs> but um, it really does like melt off after a few hours and then it's the yummy bakery banana bread to me, to me personally. It's like authentic banana bread. Um, I only get a day from it, maybe two thirds of a day, but it's so good when it's going. Um, I definitely, I'm planning to put this in my club because I love this one. Um, the next one that I did was salted caramel cupcake. Um, did this down here as well. Um, oh, there's my bird. To me, it's heavy on the caramel. So unlike salted caramel toffee, salted caramel toffee has like more like butterscotch pudding with caramel. Um, this is definitely like heavy on the caramel. I, unlike most people, I don't really get the cupcake part. Um, I think I'm definitely going to order another bar, um, and try it again. I think because I was going through these like crazy, um, this might not have gotten the chance that I wanted it to. So I'm just not sure if I'm just not like a huge connoisseur of caramel every video um a caramel person um it's not that i don't like caramel it's just i'm not sure if it's my favorite thing i like it i like it just fine but i definitely got heavy caramel in the beginning and then i kind of went nose blind to it after half a day so i don't know if it was just gone or if i went nose blind um, but I like it. I'm just not sure it's club worthy for me. So I kind of want to get in another bar and see, I might do a, one club subscription, like my monthly club and see how it goes and see if it stays. Um, the next one that I did down here, whoo, grape granita. Holy crap. <laughs> this one is strong, like so strong. It's definitely for me, like grape jelly rancher. Um, it's like deep, like a Jolly Rancher and it's strong, um, almost too strong for me. And that's weird for me to say, um, uh, but it's really strong. I kind of want to get another one and maybe do half of a clam and see what I think before I give up on it. Cause I, it's, it's nice, but it's definitely strong and it's very great popsicle, great Jolly Rancher. Um, to me, it's a little more Jolly Rancher because to me, like Jolly Ranchers are a stronger grape than a great popsicle. So I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's a really strong one. I don't dislike it, but it might be too strong for me. So I don't know if it's going to stay in my club. I don't know that I'm a gigantic grape connoisseur either, but, uh, I love to eat them. <laughs> but look, it has little grape salt on it. I don't know if that's, if you can see that. I think it's pretty cool. I love the artwork. So I might get another one and see what I think about that one. Um, my nemesis, <laughs> banana berry. I love, 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 love the scent. Love it. It to me, you know, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's talk. Um, unlike everybody else, I get zero berry, none. I'm actually jealous of the people that get like strawberry banana because I don't get any strawberry at all, zero. I get banana pudding. Um, so I love it. It's creamy. It's, it's gourmand to me. Well, if you consider banana pudding gourmand, but it's so good and it's so strong for like four hours and then it's gone, like gone. Like I don't smell it anymore. So I had this in my club for quite a while. Mm, couple rounds, maybe two or three. And then I, I kicked it out because I'm like, why well, have one in my club that's gonna be a great performer for like four hours? I want at least a day. So 
I don't know. I'm just disappointed in the performance in this one. It's beautiful. And seriously, I'm jealous of the people who get strawberry banana. I, the banana pudding for me. That's it. And I said pudding again. Um, wait, let me get some ones that I don't. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Almost. <laughs> okay. Uh, another one that's interesting. <laughs> Cherry Limeade. Um... I like it. Um, I really like that you get the fizzy note in it. Um, so I definitely smell like like the fizziness in it, but, and it's strong. It's really strong. Um, like two days, so I, you can totally smell it. I like it, but it also sort of gives me rainbow sherbet vibes. And I actually really like rainbow sherbet more. I don't know. I'm undecided on if I want to keep this in my club. Um, I definitely want to get one more. Um, I, I've been to Sonic once when we went to Disney World and my son was like five, six, maybe seven. <laughs> so, and he's like 18 now. <laughs> so it's been a long time and I don't think I had a cher cherry limeade. I would love to have a Sonic around and try. Um, Cherry limeade. That's very interesting packaging. It's like triangles or Christmas trees. <laughs> it's very interesting. But I really like it. But is it club worthy for me? I don't know. I don't know that it's my jam. <laughs> um, I really like it though. But I think I might just get... I might... I, I can't really stock up. I don't have the money to do that. So I might leave it in my club one or two times probably the monthly get it a couple times and see what i think stock up on a couple and then ditch it um it's really lovely if you're into it i just think i like rainbow sherbet more so oh <laughs> ambrosia <laughs> uh i don't like it <laughs> i don't like it at all um I thought at first <laughs> that this reminded me of um, the Muppets. It on cold. It does have like a Muppets vibe, but warm. I totally love the Muppets more. And boy, am I glad I did not throw that one out of my club yet. <laughs> because warm, I don't like this one. It's strong. And I did this in Gingy's room. <laughs> yes, that's my cat. <laughs> um, he has like a little bed in there and some food and water. Um, his litter box, like it's just, and then it's kind of like my Scentsy office too. Like I store a bunch of Scentsy stuff in there, but, um, it's got three warmers and a mini warmer. And, um, then I usually, do, so I do two in, um, the birds of a feather, um, boy, does that one melt, um, wax fast. The birds of a feather that's in clearance right now. Um, the birds of a feather element warmer. I do two cubes, um, two cubes in time to reflect and two cubes in the pink cast, one in the mini warmer, um, why are you blushing? And then one in a mini warmer, the teal mini warmer in my bathroom, you guys. <laughs> and I get it now that I smell it on cold. <laughs> it smells like, um, a roadside rest bathroom that's just been cleaned <laughs> or whatever kind of air freshener that they have going in there maybe even like a car wash did Allie Allie's amazing sense is that why am I drawing a blank her daughter Maddie did she say that this smells like a car wash cleaner because I actually think that it does like when you go to the car wash and whatever washes that soap that washes your car yeah, I kind of get that too. <laughs> and it's so strong. And it's like either a roadside rest bathroom <laughs> has just been cleaned or like a car wash soap. Mm, I don't like it. <laughs> That's a no for me. No, it's strong. I just, it's not for me. No. Banana Rama. It has such cute packaging too, little bananas. I love banana Laffy Taffy. It's my favorite taffy. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I love this. Now this one. <laughs> also, strong for about four hours and it dies. 
but I think I'm going to keep this one in my club for a little while. I don't know that it'll stay forever because the performance is probably going to annoy me. <laughs> um, and I might get really irritated with the fact that it doesn't last very long, but I really love this. But I really like, and I'm not ashamed to say, I really like the juvenile scents, um, which is interesting that I don't love Grape Granita. Like it was, I think it was just too strong, kind of like Wild Black Cherry. Um, whew, wild black cherry and one of the previous, um, bring back my bars, like burn your nose hair strong. Um, so it's, it's, um, so I didn't love wild black cherry because it was too strong and, and I like grape granita. I'm just not a huge fan. So I don't know if it's worth club real estate, just, you know, like maybe a couple of monthly and that's all but banana rama i love this <laughs> i really love this um this was in Gingy's room too <laughs> in the bathroom <laughs> and it might be a weird scent for most people to put in their bathroom but i loved it <laughs> smells like summer um mm, it's like a happy place like i love this <laughs> so i'm the weirdo that likes that one and for now i'm gonna keep it um blueberry rush <sighs> If you've not seen um, Robin H. from Canada, um, go check her out on YouTube because she has this amazing um, battle <laughs> series that she's starting and I love it so much and she did Battle of the Blueberries. And unfortunately, I was dumb and I kicked out ahead of time, ahead of getting this bar, which is why I'm glad I didn't get rid of the Muppets yet. <laughs> um, and I still haven't made up my mind on that one because I really like it, but it'll probably come back and I don't know. But I kicked out Aladdin Three Wishes. I think I have one bar left in my stash. I'm bummed. This smells just like Aladdin Three Wishes, but Aladdin Three Wishes has like a cotton candy note in it that I like more. This is missing that cotton candy note. And although it's lovely and I'm going to keep it because I really like blueberry. <laughs> Um, and it's a good performer. It's a nice medium performer, medium to strong. Um, and I like it. It lasts all day and it does remind me of Very Bright too. Very Bright's lighter for me. Um, and this is maybe a little deeper than, slightly deeper than Very Bright, but, um, it's got like a mixture of berries, but anyways, <laughs> Um, I do like this enough to keep it in my club for a little bit for now, but if Aladdin Three Wishes comes back, I will probably kick this out and keep Aladdin because Robin, um, she hit the nail on the head. It, Aladdin is slightly better, um, because of that cotton candy note. So <laughs> I'm with Robin on that one, but I'm stuck with Berry Bright <laughs> or Berry Bright, um, Blueberry Rush and then Coconut Cotton. Um, <laughs> you guys. So I had my son smell this and I said, doesn't that smell just like the shampoo that you like? And he's like, yeah. Um, so he has a suave <laughs> coconut shampoo and conditioner. He loves it. <laughs> um, and it smells exactly like suave coconut shampoo to me, like exactly. And my, my son thought so, Dale thought so, um, Dale liked them all. <laughs> Um, I don't think there's one that he didn't, oh, well, I'll get to that one. <laughs> there is one that he didn't love. <coughs> Excuse me, should have brought a drink. But um, this is a lovely medium performer. Um, last several days in my bedroom is where I did this one. It's beautiful. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep it in my club. Is it special to me personally? No, only because... My son uses <laughs> suave coconut shampoo all the time. So it's like super familiar to me simply because of that. Uh, I don't know. I'm definitely going to get a couple um, because I like it enough to keep it in my club just a little bit. I just don't know if it's going to stay forever just because I guess it ruined me that it smells just like suave coconut shampoo. Like I'm not joking. Um, so get you some of suave coconut shampoo and um there's a, a moth <laughs> uh, anyways um I don't know where that came from probably my basement but anyways it doesn't matter but um yes um 
coconut cotton is lovely. It does last, it's one of those medium that lasts for a few days. So I do recommend this one. Um, it was nice, we enjoyed it. That's coconut cotton. So also in my bedroom, I did shimmer. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. This is totally going in my club. It's a light to medium, more on the light side. Um, it lasted several days in my bedroom, but you have to keep in mind that in the polar panorama in my bedroom, I do four cubes. And then in um, what's diamond milk glass, I do four cubes. So I do the entire bar in my bedroom. Um, I do that because they're lighter scents usually. And I really love this. Um, I'm so sad that they're getting rid of this in the body care because um, I just tried the shimmer body cream. I would have totally bought more. I'm late trying it. Now they're getting rid of it and I don't really have money to stock up. <laughs> it's fine. I got to try it, right? And it works beautifully with the dancing sugar plums in the fragrance yes or whatever tab that is um can't remember what it's called fragrance something I think it's called fragrance for fiesta but dancing sugar plums body wash and follow up with shimmer body cream oh, amazing but it's very like girly Dale liked it um it reminds me of Victoria's Secret love spell it's that same kind of peach cherry note um that's in Victoria's Secret love spell that's in um Lucky in Love from Scentsy that's a dupe for Victoria's Secret Love Spell. So it, it's very, I think this is cherries and apricots and Victoria's Secret is, I'm pretty sure, cherries and peach, <laughs> something like that. But it's lovely. It's amazing. I love shimmer. The, I mean, even the packaging is slightly shimmery metallic. Love it. Um, so that one's definitely staying in my club. Spiced Orange Harvest. Um, uh, I mean, I kind of, sort of, almost not really <laughs> get the spice. It's mostly oranges to me. And when it's melting, it's very um, popsicle, like orange popsicle. It reminds me of oodles of orange too. I actually like oodles of orange more. Oodles of orange is like like a brighter orange. Um, I think oodles of orange lasts more. To me, this was a little waxy orange, um, almost kind of like a frozen, um, freezer burned orange popsicle. Um, I don't love spiced orange harvest. I, I have oodles of orange in my club. I'm keeping oodles of orange because um, it's just brighter and stronger, more vibrant, I guess. And this is just kind of eh. Um, so that's a no for me. Maui Mist. Um, this is beautiful. It's slightly powdery. Um, oh, it's really pretty, but I have to tell you what it reminds me of. Um, I, and it's going to stay in my club for a little bit just because I like it, but I'll tell you why it might not, might not stay forever. Um, if you were to mix, this totally smells like if you were to mix Coastal Sunset, which is coming back in the spring summer catalog and palm trees and ocean breeze, I feel like you would get Maui Mist. I love it, it's gorgeous. It's medium, um, yeah, it's totally coastal sunset meets palm trees and ocean breeze. It's beautiful, um, it's creamy. It does kind of remind me of Summer Holiday. Now, I don't love Summer Holiday, I just don't, um, cause that one's kind of a little too, this isn't as powdery. Um, Summer Holiday is like more powdery, more floral, whereas this is more coconut. Um, but it's like a perfumey coconut. So it's not like Mahalo coconut. Um, it's more, it's literally like, I swear, if you were to mix one cube of Coastal Sunset and one cube of Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze, you would get Maui Mist. And I like that. But because I can get those two, I may not keep it forever, but it's club worthy, um, at least for a couple. Um, I, I do enjoy it. I do really like it. Um, <laughs> everybody hates this bar. Uh, bubble gum. Believe it or not, Dale loved this. <laughs> um, I'm freaking all about it. When it's cold, I get more Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> um, when it's warm, it's amazing. It's strong. I did this in Gingy's room in the bathroom. I know everybody's like, the bathroom? I thought it was fantastic in the bathroom. 
I, I get where people it can get like a Dale even said it like bubble gum stuff at the dentist office. I can see it, but for me, it's very um it's just happy. It's like my happy place. <laughs> I told you I like the juvenile scents. Um, surprise, surprise that I would love this one because I do. <laughs> I really love it. This is totally staying in my club for a while. Um, I would totally do this. I want my whole house to smell like this. Um, I asked Dale and like, would it bother you if I did that downstairs and the whole house smelled like this? And he's like, no, I actually kind of like it. So <laughs> believe it or not. I don't know if he's just being nice to me, but he doesn't seem to mind it. And to me, it was like amazing, beautiful, loved it, loved it. I do it in my bedroom. I would do it in the bathroom, Gingy's room. I'd do it all downstairs. I love it. I'm going to be the only consultant on here saying bangerang, love it. It's staying in my club. Um, I do, I want my whole house to smell like this. I'm going to be the only person. Most people are going to be like, I'll let my kids but no, no, no for me, like I'm all over it. <laughs> I'm the weirdo that loves this one. So yeah, love, love. <laughs> um, blue raspberry ice. I did this one in Jindy's room. <laughs> Ugh. And there it goes. <laughs> Hold on. Free video, everyone. Um, I like it. Um, it's a good, strong performer. Um, again, I did this in Jindy's room, the bathroom. I know it's weird, right? But uh, it's like I had to hurry up and melt through these for you guys. Um, I get mostly lemon with a hint of blue raspberry. It's very fresh, it's very clean, it's very summery. I'm definitely gonna keep it long enough to at least get one more, maybe two or three. But is it, is it club worthy for me personally? No. Um, if I can't afford to keep it, it'll get the boot. Um, like some of the others, uh, I'll try, <laughs> try to keep it. Um, I, because I mostly get lemon and I absolutely adore lemon sorbet. That's why this would not be like a huge, I gotta have it scent for me. Cause I actually love lemon sorbet more than this. Um, it's nice. It's different than lemon sorbet, but I definitely get more lemon than anything. Deal said that too. Um, I don't get any cherry. Um, I'm jealous of the people that get cherry. I get zero, zero cherry, none. Um, it's just mostly like, mostly lemon. <coughs> My throat is dry. Mostly lemon with a hint of blue raspberry. It's nice, it's a strong performer. Um, I just don't know that it's like a keeper for me. Thunderstorm. <laughs> so on cold, um, I get more of like, I get more of that water note, like fresh roses in your yard and it's rained smell. On warm, I only get fresh roses, like no water, <laughs> zero. I totally get fresh roses. I like fresh rose scents versus artificial rose. I actually don't mind artificial rose. Is it my favorite thing? No. Do I enjoy melting it sometimes? Yes. It's very pretty. Um, it's gorgeous for like a bathroom, even like a bedroom. Um, <clears throat> almost kind of like a hint of baby faces, baby doll faces, but it's, it's a little bit powdery. Um, it's definitely for me personally. And I think Patricia Jackson also said this, it's all roses, like fresh white, maybe some yellow and red, but mostly white, <laughs> um, white roses. Now I would like to smell this next to flower shop. <laughs> Because now granted, I've never melted flower shop. I only had a clearance scent circle in um, flower shop. But to me, flower shop smelled like fresh, like you went into a flower shop <laughs> and smelled fresh white roses. Um, whereas 
like to me they smell similar but this might be slightly more perfumey watery but i on cold i get a little more of the water than on um warm i i just get fresh white like mostly white roses i like it i do want a couple more bars do i think it's worth keeping my club it's not my most favorite one. I enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, I mean, I really like it. I just, it's just not, like there's definitely ones in here that wow me more than this, but I do like it. It's a nice medium to strong performer, maybe a little on the strong side. Um, especially if you're, yeah, if you're not real crazy about fresh roses, um, uh, it's beautiful. Um, I recommend trying it. It's a fan favorite. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, out of all the florals, it's not my most favorite, but I really do enjoy it. So I kind of hope Flor Flower Shop comes back because I'd like to smell these together. So I'm definitely going to keep it long enough to at least get one more, maybe two, maybe more. It depends. Maybe the more I warm it towards summer, um, I might really, really love it. Um, I don't know might be seasonal that way um <laughs> huckleberry and clementine cute packaging <sighs> i don't like this one i i don't i kind of get skunk <laughs> but what this reminds me of and robin h has said this too what i pick up on in this one is the same note that's in um vanilla blackberry so to me this is like very vanilla blackberry. Like they're almost somewhat identical to me, except vanilla blackberry is stronger than this one. Huckleberry must smell similar to blackberry for me. Um, I don't love it. I don't. It, it, it smells like people are smoking pot. <laughs> and Dale gets that too. Um, like he'll come downstairs because this was down here. And he was like, uh, yeah, I got that, like, people are smoking pot <laughs> vibe from, it's, we both get that from, um, vanilla blackberry and huckleberry clementine. I, yeah, it's a, no. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know why my nose picks up that <laughs> recreational scent. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Um, it's just what I get. I don't, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Um, casting spells. I know people don't like this. I don't mind it. Um, is it, I love the chartreuse color. <laughs> um, is it club worthy for me? Probably not. I kind of want to get one or two more for Halloween. Um, it was fun. I had fun with it. Um, it's different. Um, but to me it's kind I get mostly like, um, pears, Caramel, um, look at the notes. It's, it's very like pears and pump, pears and caramel to me, maybe a little pumpkin. Um, that like, almost like dry, crunchy leaves in your yard during the fall, <laughs> um, burns off kind of quick. Um, so I didn't really notice that as much as I did on cold. Um, I mean, it's okay. <clears throat> excuse me I mean or I think it's like apples pears it comes off pears to me pears and um pears and um caramel so I don't mind it it's different um I I think it'd be a hoot <laughs> for um Halloween so I definitely want to get a couple more just for fun but it's definitely not club worthy for me but I had fun trying it it was something new so I appreciated that we had something new sugar um this is totally club worthy it's light to medium for me um but it is it is long lasting it does it did last like several days in my um, bedroom um i did the whole bar like i do everything in my bedroom um it's beautiful it's just like i have aquilina pink sugar perfume imagine that and uh from scent bird my scent bird subscription um, and I love it. And it is, it's like cotton candy perfume, um, more on the perfume side than the, than the, it's beautiful. 
I love it. Um, I actually think I like this, which I had a feeling I would like this better than pink sugarberry mint. Lucky for me, pink sugarberry mint's coming back um, in the spring, summer, because I really do like that one. I just think I like this more. So this is a club keeper for me. Pink haze. <laughs> this is my, oh, the little cloud, like kind of clouds are so cute. Um, this is my favorite of the whole bunch. I love this. This is amazing. <laughs> this is everything. Um, if I could only keep one out of this whole collection, this would be it. <laughs> um, it's very cotton candy for me. So for the new voting, I'm crossing my fingers, praying cotton candy cookie made it because I really want that one so bad. Cotton candy is one of my favorite things. This one is more cotton candy to me than sugar. Um, sugar is more perfume, body care. Um, this is also body care. Um, but it's got like that strawberry, it's very strawberry cotton candy for me. This one actually did slightly better in my bedroom than sugar, but they were both like light to medium, more medium, and they lasted days and days. I don't know if it's because I had four cubes in both of my warmers in my bedroom. I don't know. That seemed to work really well up there. Um, so I just kind of continue to go with that in my bedroom. I don't have enough cubes to do down here. Plus it might be too much and eight warmers down here. I actually have 12. I just don't put wax in all of all, tw all 12. But anyways, <laughs> this is my favorite. This is amazing. Um, if you're into those girly juvenile, <laughs> although most people love this, even if they're not into the juvenile sense, but this is amazing and I love it. It's very girly. It's very sugary, marshmallowy, fond fondant, <laughs> um, strawberry almost. It, uh, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's, um, Mandarin Moon. Now of this in Spiced Orange Harvest, I actually like this one better, but <laughs> I'm a spice girl. <laughs> I love spice. I love bakery. Um, this one is more orange to me. Um, it's different than uh, Wassel Wonderland. I also have Wassel Wonderland in my club. Uh, will I keep them both? I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. Wassel Wonderland is definitely more spiced orange, maybe like a tangy orange um, with like more spice in it and a tree note. Whereas this is just like orange in some spices. Um, it's actually a strong performer. Um, I'm definitely going to get a couple more. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it or if I'll keep this and kick out Wassail Wonderland. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind and I don't like to be rushed. <laughs> so for now, it's going to stay. Um, I really, really liked it. It's more orange forward. Well, actually, Spiced Orange Harvest is all orange. <laughs> um, it's like freezer bird popsicle orange, waxy orange. Um, this is beautiful. It's got a hint, it's got less spice in it, but it's got some in there. Um, the orange is more forward than the spice. So if you're afraid of spice, don't be afraid of this one because I feel like the spice kind of takes a backseat note to it. Um, but it's lovely. <laughs> I like it a lot. So for me, it's, it's club worthy for now. Um, I actually really like this one. Uh, simply vanilla. I know people love this. Um, I tend to have a hard time smelling depending on the vanilla. Um, like birthday wish, birthday, yeah, birthday wishes. I couldn't smell it <laughs> unless I did two whole entire bars down here. I couldn't smell it. This was in my bedroom. Um, I granted four cubes in each warmer. It's very nice. I could smell this one. I was like, am I going to struggle? No, I didn't struggle. I actually smelled this one. But <laughs> it's a very generic vanilla. And I love vanilla. But if you give me a choice between Simply Vanilla and Vanilla Bean Buttercream or Vanilla Waves, I'm totally going to pick the Vanilla Waves and Vanilla Bean Buttercream. Granted, I'm a bakery girl. <laughs> Bakery spice and woods and floral. <laughs> um, yeah, fruit and laundry are kind of hit or miss with me, but um, I I like it. I kind of want to get just one more just to have, but I, I, it's not really unique enough to keep. Um, 
I say it's probably a medium performer uh, for me. It was nice. I mean, it's more, it's like a generic vanilla candle. Um, it's very nice. I'm sure it'd be a great mixer. I, I don't really want to tone down scents except maybe um, Grape Granita. <laughs> Um, but I, I don't know. I don't see me mixing this with Grape Granita. Um, I'd rather do like a cake, <laughs> um, than vanilla. I don't know. It's just, it's not my thing. Um, I had high hopes for it. I actually like Vanilla Oud better. Oh man, I wish that would come back. Um, I'm totally voting on Vanilla Oud because I, I kicked that one out like an idiot. <laughs> Um, and I'm mad at myself about that, but this is nice. Um, I know a lot of people love this, um, and it's very, um, company friendly, uh, except my daughter, <laughs> she, she hates vanilla, so she's not into vanilla, but, uh, for most people, it, this is going to be like very company friendly. Um, it, it's nice. It's just, I really like vanilla bean buttercream. I like the sweeter vanilla um, confectionery kind of gourmand type so I like vanilla waves better with like sea salt caramel and vanilla vanilla oud which is like almost like a body care cologne mm, woodsy vanilla versus just generic vanilla I, I don't know not real excited with it it's okay um huckleberry sage um I enjoyed this. It's beautiful. It's very unique to me. Um, it's light though. I, I tend to love the sage um, scents. So I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's more light to medium for me. Um, it's like fruity, but it's got like that soothing, calming sage-ness about it, which gives me the same vibes. It's not similar, but it gives me the same vibes as the Mandalorian. Um, <clears throat> or uh, Fearless by Nature. Not really Blue Sage and Tonka. I mean, that was more cologne. <laughs> but it's got that soothing kind of comforting sage <clears throat> part of it, but and it's got the fruity, like the huckleberries, like a, almost like a candy fruity softer though. I don't know. I, I like it. I definitely want a couple more. I don't know if I'll keep it. Um, cause I actually like the Mandalorian more. Um, I actually like Fearless by Nature more. Um, it's. Trying to compare it to something, it, I can't. I, I think over time, if these sit a little bit, they might get a little stronger, maybe. Um, I don't even really have anything to compare it to. Um, I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not experienced enough with Sensi to have something to compare it to. Um, it's very unique. I just, it's the sage in it that's reminding me of like Mandalorian and um, Fearless by Nature. And I, I, I just, I like those more, um, but I really like it. I really, really like it. I highly recommend trying it because it's so different. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a beautiful, I did this in Gigi's room, <laughs> but it's, it would be beautiful in the bedroom. Um, I don't know if I do it down here cause I don't know. I do iridescent pearl down here. It does pretty well. I might try it down here. Um, I, to me it's a little more bedroomy cause the sage is so soothing. Um, but it's like, I don't know. It's so hard to describe. <laughs> it's really hard to describe. Um, it's really hard to describe. You almost have to experience this one. It's worth trying. It's really, really, really worth trying. Um, it's not like herbal sage. It's more like, it's not like, you know, 
Thanksgiving stuffing sage, which I don't like sage in my stuffing, but it's not that kind of sage. It's more of like the, would you say perfumey? Um, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's beautiful. Um, I highly recommend it. I, I'm just, just fumbling over words because I don't really know what to say. Um, cause it's so hard. Um, boho. I like this one. I definitely want just one more. <laughs> I don't want any more than one. Um, I like it a lot. Um, it's, it's definitely got like the fall kind of spices. Like I, I totally want one more for fall. Uh, I, I don't know. I might decide to keep it. But it's definitely like an apple potpourri. Um, the vibes that this, it's more of like a medium one. I did this one down here. Um, the vibe that this one gives me, it reminds me an awful lot of lavender cotton. Are they the same? No. Um, but it's got kind of that potpourri smell that like lavender cotton totally gives me potpourri. Like totally potpourri. Like in Maine, yuppie shop potpourri. Like yuppie shop <laughs> like soap um this is more like an apple potpourri um like you know it's like dried apple pieces and spice um it, it's lovely i just i don't know that it's a keeper forever it was a lot of fun i had a great time trying it i definitely want one more for this fall but i think that i'm good <laughs> until maybe someday it comes back um I don't know. Out of all of them, it wasn't my most favorite, but I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. Um, it's, if you like lavender cotton, I highly recommend this one because I think that you would like boho. Uh, most people love lavender cotton. I'm not a huge fan. Um, I don't mind it. I like to do it like maybe once a year, lavender cotton. And I think the same goes for this. Like I'm just not a huge potpourri type person. Um, hence why I don't really go for welcome home. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about my home. I actually just got those today, but um, Dale and I will probably do a video <laughs> of our first sniffs of the 10 exclusives tomorrow because um, he went to the store, so he's not here. But, um, and I don't know that he's watching football later, so, <laughs> um, so I doubt if he'll want to do it later, but you never know. But yeah, um, bohos were we're trying. Um, definitely, if you are a lavender cotton person, please try this because I really, really, really think you'll love it. And it's like apple potpourri. Just my opinion. Um, cherry almond pie. I love this, <laughs> but like I love it a lot. <laughs> I don't, Dale totally got this, the cherry. <laughs> I didn't really get the cherry. <laughs> Um, I mostly got almond and I kind of went nose blind to it after four hours. <laughs> uh, it's strong, but only for about four hours. <laughs> and then I think I went nose blind to it. Dale could still smell it. I think the next day I kind of smelled it before I changed it, but I don't know. I like it enough that I definitely want one more to decide. Maybe it was just the day. Um, I mean, the packaging is so cute on that. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love like amaretto um, almond scents. To me, it's worth keeping for at least one more bar. Um, didn't get any bakery, so I don't get the graham cracker crust. I think it might be fun to try this with graham cracker crunch. Uh, one of my all-time favorites. <laughs> So I think this and graham cracker crunch could be a hoot together. And then I might really actually want to keep it because I'm totally keeping graham cracker crunch anyway. Um, I don't know. I like it. Um, and it's strong. I just, I somehow, I think I go nose blind to it um, halfway through. Um, does anybody else have that? <laughs> I think a lot of people said it was super strong. Um, and I'm like, I don't know. Dale got the cherry. I didn't really get the cherry. I got the almond. I don't know. It was a, it was an interesting bar. Um, kind of like happy birthday. Like he told, or not happy birthday, birthday wishes. I keep doing that. <laughs> I need to get happy birthday. So I actually know what a whole bar 
an entire bar smells like. Um, but, you know, did I try one of those? Brandy, did you give me happy birthday? I think I did have a Canada one and I had trouble smelling it. Yeah. <laughs> um, which is why I was a little impressed with, um, um, ugh, brain, brain died. <laughs> um, it's simply vanilla because I smelled that one more than those two. I don't know. Cherry almond pie. <laughs> I'm digressing. Um, yeah, I'm totally going to try it again. Um, might even try mixing graham cracker crunch with it. I don't, I don't know. Definitely one or two more. Um, just because I do like it. I just, if I'm going to go nose blind to it, I don't really want it, but because I, I love too many scents. You guys, you guys know. <laughs> Wait till I do my club edit, y'all. Um, I have not added the Christmas bars yet. <laughs> um, I'll be doing that soon. And my club is already $700 because I've thrown everything in there that I haven't made up my mind on. I know I have till the end of February before it locks to decide. Obviously, no one can afford $700. Um, <laughs> But, so that'll be fun to watch me go through that for like, it'll probably be a two hour video if someone wants to like grab some popcorn and you know, some, you know, candy and a drink and sit back with me and watch me struggle through that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, cherry almond pie, definitely want a couple more, but that might go in my monthly club for sure. Um, just so I can get a couple more. I don't know, they're all in my, <laughs> I, although I did already kick out Ambrosia because that's a hard no. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's some I've already kicked out. <laughs> a Midnight Fig. That is the cutest packaging ever. <laughs> I hate the scent. I hate it. Um, no, no. I liked it on cold. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's like exotic and sexy. No. <laughs> did this in my bedroom and yes, I did the whole, whole darn thing. And it was terrible. It was awful. Um, awful. It was horrible. I wanted it to smell like raisins. <laughs> uh, no, it, I got Play-Doh. I got Play-Doh and I freaking hate Play-Doh. It's why I don't like sugar cookie. I know 8 million thousand people love sugar cookie. I hate sugar cookie because it smells like Play-Doh. This smells like Play-Doh and I don't like it. Dale did not like this one. I think this is the only bar he did not like <laughs> out of all of these. Um, I think he liked all the rest, but this is no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, it's, it's Play-Doh. It's, this is no, no, absolutely no. Hi, Dale. Um, this is out of my club. Gone. Nope. I <laughs> want nothing to do with this one. Um, I think there's another one I kicked out. Oh, Simply Vanilla. Did I kick that one out yet? This is gone. <laughs> totally. No, no. Never again. Nope. I'll save it. Well, I shouldn't say never again, but maybe a few years from now. Mm. Ugh, no. <laughs> no. So if you like Play-Doh, <laughs> if you don't get Play-Doh from Sugar Cookie, I think you might actually like it. If you get Play-Doh from Sugar Cookie, stay far, far away. <laughs> Which I have to actually say, another reason why I'm not a huge fan of Simply Vanilla is I did get hints here and there, just a tiny tinge of Play-Doh. So not, a, not, no, but this is no, 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 end of story, no. <laughs> so stay tuned, um, hopefully tomorrow, I doubt if it'll be tonight, but hopefully tomorrow, DM I, I will do the 10 exclusive um, Sensi Bring Back My Bar Club exclusives first sniffs. Um, I just got them today, so <laughs> you can see them in the background. So that is, um, my take on it. Um, so yeah, hope that's helpful. You guys, um, I highly recommend most of them. Um, even if they're not like keepers for sure, they're amazing to try worth every penny except <laughs> in Ambrosia. No, that one's out of my club too. I'm like, Nope, <laughs> no bathroom cleaner for me. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Tap out. Oh, um, the Clementine, Huckleberry Clementine. Nope. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so yeah. So stay tuned guys. See you soon. Bye.